Hi guys, we're back again for a for a short video. I've had a lot of we've had a lot of customers. A lot of our students have sent us pictures of signs that they've done, and uh, it might be great looking signs, but sometimes the letters are either backwards or upside down. Now the font that we use for our layout letters is a Clarendon font, and they have to be used just right. You can't use, you can't have an upside down N, they don't look good. You can't have the W or the Y or the X on backwards or the A, and you can't use the number in place of the letter. And so, <clears throat> if you, if you want to know what the Clarendon font looks like, I'm going to show it to you. But you can go on Google and type in Clarendon font, a C L A R. E-N-D-O-N. -E and if you type that into Google, it'll show you what that font is and just print it out so you'll always have it. But I'm going to point out a few of the things that you need to be careful of when you're laying out a sign. So to begin with, here's the Clarendon font. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's the M. And if you look at the if you look at the stroke, the stroke on the left is narrower than the stroke on the right. So whenever you're laying the sign out, be sure that you have the narrow stroke to the left. And that's really pretty simple. Now on the end, the serif, that's what this little thing is across here is a serif. It goes at the top, not at the bottom. I see a lot of our students are laying signs out like this and that's not correct. So make sure that the serif, when you're laying it out, is at the top. Now that's on the N. Now on the S, if you'll notice, it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. If you have it this way, it doesn't look right. So be sure when you put it on that the top of the S is the narrow part. Okay? Now on the A, it's basically the same. The narrow stroke is on the left. The wider stroke is on the right. So if you had, had it backwards, you would have it this way. And that's not correct. So just be sure that the narrow one is on the left. Now on the letter O and the number zero, it's pretty obvious. But a lot of times, guys will grab those and they'll lay them out in a sign where they're not supposed to be. So, so the top one is the O and the, the and narrow the, one this, is the zero. The big one is the O. Right. And the narrow one is the number zero. Gotcha. Now on the W, on the left is the narrow one. Or excuse me, on the right is a narrow one. It's, it's the opposite of the A, but on the right is a narrow one. So just be sure on the W, be sure you have that one correct. And on the X, you have the from the top uh, top right to the bottom left is where the narrow one is. So just be sure. Now, when you print this out, if you go on to Google and print this out, kind of have that where you're laying your signs out so that you'll have that to look at. Now it's the same thing on the Y. On the right side, it, it's going down to the left, but on the right side is where the narrow one is. That's the way it's supposed to be, just like it is on the picture. And it's the same thing on the V. The narrow stroke is on the right. You can see it when you print it out. Now, if you can't print it out, just try to make some notes. After you watch this video, make some notes so that you can remember what they are. So that's basically all I wanted to do on this one, is to show you that a lot of times the signs will, you'll have a great sign, you're just making an outstanding looking sign, but if the letter is backwards, it just looks, it just doesn't look right. And anybody that knows lettering will know it's not right. Probably 90% of the people won't know that it's not right, but now that you know, and, and once you see signs that are backwards, you'll recognize them from now on. 
So now there are some fonts that on the M, for instance, you'll see some signs where people will take a W and they'll put it upside down and try to make an M out of it. Well, that's not the way an M and a W work at least in the Clarendon font. There are some fonts where the W is slanted, but on the M, the sides are straight up and down. Okay, always remember that. In the Clarendon font, the sides are straight up and down. On the W, the sides are slanted. That's a big difference between the W and the M in the Clarendon font. And we don't care about the other fonts because we don't use them. <laughs> so. So I just wanted to point these things out to you. It just makes, uh, makes it a little bit better looking sign. And after a while, you get to where you recognize when somebody else makes a mistake. But uh, I wanted to point these out to you so you keep your mistakes to the minimum. So, having said that and having got through a video without my throat getting all catchy, Uh, we're going to make some more videos. We'll have some. I've had a lot of questions lately about different things, and we'll try to answer some of the questions on our upcoming videos. So we may make a couple of more today. We may make an, uh, two or three more this week. We may wait uh, a few more days to make another one. It just all depends on how we feel, <laughs> whatever mood we're in. So that's the end of this one. We'll see you later.